Hyperliquid just flipped a switch that changes what's possible on chain. It's called Core Writer, and it's the missing link between smart contracts and one of the fastest on chain trading engines in crypto. And it could be one of the most important steps towards building the next generation of DeFi. So, what is it, and how is it changing what's possible on chain? To understand why Core Writer matters, we need to zoom out and look at Hyperliquid's architecture. At the base layer, you have Hyper BFT, which is the custom consensus layer, and then built on top of it are two execution environments, Hypercore and Hyper EVM. Hypercore is the high performance trading engine. This is the exchange that everyone is familiar with where on-chain perks, spot bugs, and liquidity vaults live. And Hyper EVM is the smart contract layer where DeFi protocols are built on Hyperliquid. And what makes Hyperliquid unique is that Hypercore and Hyper EVM share the same state. That means both of these execution environments can see the same data in real time. But until now, smart contracts on Hyper EVM could only read from Hypercore. They could monitor balances, track prices, and view positions, but they couldn't do anything else. Core Writer changes that. It gives Hyper EVM smart contracts right access to Hyper Core. Now smart contracts can place limit orders, manage vaults, and staking, send assets, and more. And that's a big deal because it means for the first time, developers and users can tap into one of the fastest on-chain order books permissionlessly and entirely through smart contracts. Let's look at what this unlocks, starting with liquid staking. I got the chance to sit down with Dalton from Kinetic. I would love to understand why Core Writer is such an important piece of functionality for someone like Kinetic. So Kinetic is the hyperliquid native LST. Basically, to keep this at a high level, Kinetic is fully on chain. Whereas right now, current counterparts are basically running an LST uh, via a multi-sig and it is basically all manual. But for us specifically, Core Rider allows us to ingest hype on Hyper EVM and then distribute said hype to validators through a decentralized uh, staking validator delegation system called uh, StakeUp. So we're ingesting hype on Hyper EVM, and then we are depositing said hype into validators on a meritocratic um, like scoring system, and that will be distributed onto Hypercore. And is that all done through contracts? Like once once your contracts are live, if I were to try to get K hype, the contracts do everything. There's no interference from exactly everything. exactly, and which that allows protocols to also have trust in the system that is in place to to see all the validator scoring and that's something that's really that's like a big differentiating factor between us and the current counterparts right now is being able to have a trustless a trustless scoring algo that people and other builders within the ecosystem can see and take it from there but it's not just lsts builders are starting to use core writer for all different kinds of DeFi applications take lending as another example I sat down with Charlie from Felix, who's building money markets on Hyper EVM. Felix is uh, essentially borrow lend infrastructure for Hyperliquid. Uh, we got started really working on Felix in June last year. Uh, we went fully live in April of this year. How are you thinking about implementing Core Writer for Felix and just Core Writer functionality overall for lending? Yeah, I'd say there's a few very interesting use cases. Um, the first that came to mind on my side uh, was on the liquidation front. So obviously, um, in most bar lens systems, liquidations are taking place via AMMs. Um, it is just sort of a matter of fact that liquidations can be more efficient if done via an order book. Um, and that is not as simple if Core Writer is not live. So with Core Writer Live, we begin to look into these kind of order book based liquidations, um, where essentially it's kind of a question around the atomicity of these liquidations via Hyper, hyper EVM based collateral on Hypercore uh, versus you know these AMMs you know using a hyper swap or kitten swap which uh, function well but could be more efficient and so I think on our side uh, obviously we work with third party liquidators and so I know a lot of them are looking into that directly and as are we and then are there any other places where you're thinking about Core Writer as it relates to Felix specifically say that's something that's interesting and I know 
some other kind of teams in the space are looking at as well are sort of kind of uh, lending more collateral as a per position. And so, you know, essentially writing directly to Hypercore with lending more collateral and opening sort of per positions on that or being able to kind of borrow against per positions is pretty interesting. Um, I'd say sort of something that we're kind of keeping in the in the back of our mind. Um, potentially there's something that we do there on the uh, Felix Vanilla side in sort of a more frontier setting. But um, yeah, a couple of things on that side. Another builder I spoke to was Kane from Hyperdrive, who's approaching Core Writer from a totally different angle. Their approach would actually enable new forms of collateral to come on chain. So Hyperdrive is at the fundamental layer, it's a spot lending protocol. We're focusing on stablecoin lending primarily, and we're tokenizing the hyperliquid vaults, um, such as HLP, and allowing that to be used as collateral within the lending side of things. I did see that you guys just tweeted about tokenized HLP, like what, a day or two ago, if I'm recalling that correctly. Can you explain to me how that works now versus how it will work once you guys implement Core Writer? With, with Hypercore, when you deposit into the HLP vault, effectively your position becomes uh, not liquid anymore. So you're, you're subject to a four day locking period, but the Core Writer allows us to effectively tokenize that within the EVM. So the way that the tokenized HLPs work at the moment, users deposit a stable coin, um, and then effectively you deposit that into, start, start into the smart contract. And then there's a set of private keys, which effectively withdraw those assets out of the smart contract and manage that position on your behalf or on behalf of the smart contract. So it's very custodial. Um, so there's a there's a fairly big security risk there. Like you have to make sure that yeah, the server that that's holding those private keys is really secure. Whereas once we have core writer, uh, the smart contract has all the logic to manage your position and, and no one can ever access the, the assets inside the smart contract's control. Amazing. So it's going to be basically fully permissionless, fully non-custodial. Yeah. Awesome. And that allows us to do things like fully on-chain proof of reserves and real-time exchange rates. When you look at the state of Hyper EVM today, there is one thing that stands out. There's this return to fundamentals and excitement around building permissionless DeFi. And now with Core Writer Live, it feels like all these building blocks are finally in place and the surface area for innovation and new on-chain financial primitives to emerge just got way bigger. And as more builders arrive and start experimenting, the next six to 12 months and even five years could give rise to entirely new on-chain financial primitives. Hopefully this breakdown of Core Writer helped connect the dots and gave you a glimpse into how big this could be for on-chain finance. Bearish or bullish, I'll see you all on the next one.